Welcome back YouTube, MFJJ here talking about how to make a sight tape correctly for your bow. This is my Revolt X SS and I have not put a sight tape on this bow other than the preliminary basic one. So we're going to show you how we do it as opposed to whatever the charts say or whatever your site says. So here we go. First things first, I got to get a 20 yard point on. So without further ado, here we go. All you're doing is sighting in your 20 first. High and right. Close. Still a tiny bit right. One up. Okay. Third shot. See, that's pretty close. All right, let's go pull those arrows and we'll call that our 20. That's probably close enough to start with. That's the last one. All right, so now that we've got our 20 pretty much set, we're gonna make a mark on our sight of where that sits and then drop it back to 50. Now, one thing I didn't mention is you're gonna to wanna to make sure you use your rangefinder to check your actual yardage. So it really doesn't matter if your rangefinder's right or not, as long as you're sighted into it. So if this is off by a yard or two yards, it doesn't matter if you're using this to tell how far away things are. So get your 20 with your rangefinder, and then I'm gonna back up to 50 because it's as far as we can shoot indoors here because there's people out on the range and whatnot, and we're, we gotta get this done. So uh, we're, normally I would go out to 60 or even 80 to get my secondary mark, but today we're gonna do 50 because that's what we can do inside while shooting out the back door and having the bail out in the field here as far as we can go. So let's move up to 50. All right, so now we're gonna shoot 50 and then show you how to figure out which sight tape works for you. Uh, the sight tapes that give you like a velocity or whatnot and say, here, here's the right tape, that's not actually what it's intended for. It's just a guideline for you to start on. So that's why we actually measure them and find out exactly what they are. So here's a couple at 50, see what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty close. A little hot.
Ooh, that was a good one. I think that's my number. Let's give it one more and see what happens here. Go take a look. All right, so this is my first shot. I felt pretty good about it. Uh, I think it was actually pointed right about here when it went off. My second shot was high and it was up here. So I was seeing a consistency that they were both a little high, readjusted it a little bit, and both the third and the fourth pointed really well here. It was, you know, it was grounds around a little bit. So I think I've got the good drop right now. So my left to right isn't perfect, but that's okay. I'm just trying to figure out what my up and down is supposed to be for my drop. So we'll pull these out and go figure out what that drop is and show you how to pick the sight tape correct for that. Okay, so now that we know what our drop is for our 20 to 50, I'm gonna use a caliper, which is, this is just some Harbor Freight cheapy one, I think it was like $20, to measure the distance between 20 and 50 so I have an exact measurement of how much my drop is. So I hold the one indicator up at 20 and move it to where it lines up with where your needle is currently. This is an old sight tape I had on there from a previous setup. And that is probably about exact. Let's go a little closer. All right. So my 20 to 50 drop is 366. So if you hold this like this, and if your sight was like a black gold and it came with a whole bunch of sight tapes, I'll show you how to figure out which one is right. We'll just pull this out of here for now. So that's a pretty flat setup because um, as you, a lot of you know, I like to shoot fast and I like to shoot relatively light arrows. So most of my stuff's pretty, pretty fast. So let's see, that's 20 to 50. That's a little tighter than that, 20 to 50. So that's about perfect. So your black gold sight tape that says 318 feet a second would be the correct one to put on. Let me make sure I got that right. My hands are a little moving. Yeah, 20 to 50. So that's how you determine correctly which one of these sight tapes you would put on. Then just move your sight back up to 20 yards, cut that out, slide it under the needle, and stick it on. Now, if you're just doing a 20 to 50 to get that set, I would encourage you to go out as far as you can accurately comfortably shoot. As soon as you get that on there, walk out to like 80 or 90 or however far you feel okay shooting at and see if it's off a little bit. Frequently, I, I make sight tapes out to 120, 130, 140 yards, and I swear I am like perfect at 20 to 80. Walk out to 120 and it's like that much low or that much high and I need maybe one foot per second difference, maybe two feet per second difference, somewhere around there. Uh, you can also use this default in Archer's Advantage if you purchase Archer's Advantage software, which is available online and they have an app for Apple. Um, you can print your own sight tapes from that and make them custom all you want if you wanna go out farther than your sight tape projects or offers. You can go to 120 or 130, you can change the line thickness, you can change where the numbers are printed, and most importantly, you can put in a default with your exact drop number out to 100 yards. So it's a really good program, I think it's 12 bucks a year. I, I really emphasize if you're gonna use a single pin slider or a three pin slider and want to effectively shoot a long ways, it's well worth the $12, just my two cents. Head on over to PodiumArcher.com for all your archery needs, $99 and up is free shipping. If there's stuff you're looking for that you can't find, please let us know if we have it or have the ability to list it on there. I mean, our website's growing every day. We still have stuff in here we haven't got on there yet. Let me know, I'll get it on there for you. I'll message you back and say, hey, it's up here. Here's the link, go buy it. Um, and if we can't sell it, I'll let you know we can't and why and where to find it. So, but hit that like, hit that subscribe, keep coming back. Love all the feedback, love all the input, good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter to me. Just let me know what you think. And I need video ideas. We're trying to make three a week, so keep them coming. Lots of good ideas. We'll make as many of them as we can. But more than anything, guys, I wanna make you better archers. I want you guys to be functionally better because that grows our sport and gets more of us into the sport. If you're good at it, you'll get other people involved. If you suck at it, you're probably not gonna do that. So that's why we're here. That's why I'm here. Let me help make you better. Keep coming back. 
Love you guys.